folks, um, here we are, the 10th of March. Uh, I'm on my way. Uh, I've got two cases to manoeuvre, so I'll probably speak to you again when I'm down at the bus station. So, bye for now. Uh, right, folks, um, here I am down at the uh, bus station. <laughs> he drove like mad. I don't know why he went so fast, but anyway, we were down here in about 15 minutes. So, yeah, the good news is I have seen somebody else with a Piano Cruise label on the bag. So, like mine, I'll just show you that one. Yeah, so that's good news. And I checked at the office and they said, yeah, there is. There is a, uh, a cruise uh, bus due in it. For leaving at quarter to ten uh, that they've been doing it for a while now so that's good news uh, yeah so I can relax a bit now just had a sausage sandwich from Greg's not too bad not brilliant but not too bad two pound forty so yeah so there you go start so now I can write and the time is uh, four minutes past nine so I've got what 40 minutes yeah, 40 minutes before uh, bus goes, so um, it should it probably get in about half past, so about another, what did I say again, yeah, um, about another 25 minutes and we should see bus come in, so yeah, so I'll get back to you folks when I'm on the bus, bye for now. Right folks, um, here I am on the bus. Now I can relax, I'm on the bus. Uh, and because it's booked through p and um, if we are late getting there, then they'll have to wait for us. And uh, yeah, it's a whole bus load, so I can't see them setting off without a whole bus load of people. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with traffic. Cause uh, you know, uh, I don't suppose they took into account that it was uh, Easter Sun, Easter Sunday, but we'll have to see. So I'll speak to you again when we set off. So it's bye for now. Right, folks, it's um, 9:43, and uh, we're setting off. We're uh, well now 9:44. <laughs> I haven't seen nine people get on, but they must have done. Well, I've been messing about on my phone. So anyway, we're off. We're, as, we're on his way. Yeah, and, uh, tough, don't I'm now I'm sat on the right side of the coach uh, because when we get down to uh, Southampton, um, we will be able to see the any ships in port because they're on this side, you go on this side of the coach. That said, of course, um, that's all, always assuming that um, they haven't changed the route into Southampton itself. Assuming they're going to Southampton normal way, then all the cruises and whatever it'll be on my side of the ship okay so there you go we are on his way leaving the bus station Thank you. 
stop at the uh, service station, Woolly Edge. Both trips I did last year, we stopped at Woolly Edge. But, uh, Hopefully, um, this will be like last March, in that this will be the last pickup and it'll be straight on then down to Southampton. Okay, I'll get back to you later. Right, folks, as you can see, I've put my hat on, my big bath travelling pension one. Uh, swapped it. Uh, yeah, the coach is virtually full. I think there's maybe one. Uh, no more, so we can't be stopping anywhere else. We must be going straight to ship from here now because the uh, the seat next to me is empty. Well, that's about it, I think. Oh. Yeah, there's about two seats empty, that's it. So, as I say, I don't see us stopping anywhere else to pick up passengers, that is. Uh, I think we'll go straight down now. Well, we'll see what happens. Bye for now. Right, folks, uh, we're on our way again. We're in this service station. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. As I say, I think it'll be non-stop. We might have a, a small break. I can't see he's having that 45 minute break. Right, we're going to get there. Anyway, I, I'll get back to you the next time we stop. Bye for now. Right folks, um, we're just north of Sheffield and we've uh, come to his first uh, hold up. It's it described as an incident, I don't know what it is, but there's a, a very big queue of traffic. We've uh, moved in towards the outside lane. Um, Planes are moving very slowly, but they are moving. Well, the inside lane is. We appear to have come to a stop. But yes, so uh, first hold up, and it's not uh, to do with people getting away for holidays. Some kind of incident. Anyway, I'll come back to you when I know more. Right, folks. As you can see. Traffic is now moving on the other side of the motorway, so hopefully it means that um, they're clearing the incident and hopefully soon the traffic will start moving on this side of the motorway because for a while there, they won't, nothing was moving and then suddenly a police car come up and all traffic came up behind them. So as I say, I'll get back to you when we actually 
start to move again. Bye for now. Right, it's 10 minutes later. Good news is folks, we're moving. And we're moving reasonably. We're not going mad like, you know, but we're moving relatively at a reasonable speed. So there, we, that we cleared that, whatever it was. I'm on the opposite side, so um, it's on the inside lane, whatever the problem is, so I can't see it from here. But anyway, we're moving, so bye for now. And there we are, folks, we're just passing Meadowhall. Three minutes short of an hour to get to here, so it's 57 minutes to get to here. This is where those two towers were. They knocked them down a good few years ago now. So, yeah, there you go, folks. Um, just come past Sheffield. Right folks, um, we've just reached the Oxford turn off and that's about, well maybe about an hour and a half to a certain. Well it's been, we've been going uh, two hours and 35 minutes, two hours and 35 minutes to Oxford turn off. Yep, so it, it looks like we're going the same way but uh, whether we actually stop at the service station down here for 45 minutes, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Well folks, um, we're here at the uh, services, which I didn't think we were going to stop at. But we have done. And we're here for about 50 minutes. So how the heck they're going to get down to uh, what they call it to Southampton for 3.30 I don't know because we're leaving here at quarter to two so it's an hour and three quarters and he said it'd be about two so that means we're going to get here at about get to, co to thing about quarter to four but uh, as you can see it's the same place there's the old Greggs and uh, he did say what would name it services but I've forgotten now so I think Moto must be company that owns the place so yeah so we're gonna pop inside we're gonna see what we're gonna get to eat and uh, we'll speak to you later Right folks, I've decided to have a Steakhouse Crispy Burger, so this is it. Mm. Right folks, as I say this is it, as you can see we've got cheese, bacon, And uh, hmm. quite nice. Yeah, I'm gonna chuck into this, and uh, I'll get back to you when I finished it. Right, uh, as I say, we're down at the other end now. Uh, we've. The motto, and as I say, that's the name of the company. It's not the actual name of the service station. They did say what it was when we were coming down, but as you can see, they have the Cornish pasties. And uh, as you can see, there's an M&S KC. 
KFC sorry, Greg's, Costa, WH Smith, Berber King and Prep Manager. And I'm down there is the Craig's. Now um that burger, it was okay, yeah, fine enough, but uh, would I buy it again? No. I mean it was it was okay, as I said, the proper cheese, it wasn't the really thin Mickey Mouse cheese that you get. It was fine. So uh yeah so uh, let's have a look at time. It's uh, nearly 20 past, it's 25 minutes yet. So, uh, I'm going to have a, maybe a, a slow walk to low. Although I've just been once, but I'm going to have a slow walk back to low. Uh, use low, then come back and get on coach. So I'll see you all when I'm back on coach. Bye for now. Right folks, um, I'm back on bus. First one, first one back on bus. Uh, but yeah, I had me, had that Burger King and uh, as I say, it wasn't brilliant, but uh, it'll, keep me going until uh, we get back get to the ship and uh, I've, I've only I've taken it just in case because we might get there and they might by the time we get there everything might be closed until tea time so we'll have to see okay so uh, I'll get back to you when we're on this way again Right folks, as you can see we're pulling out, we've been here uh, 59 minutes, 59 minutes, so I don't see how we're going to do it in the time that they said we would do it, I don't, I don't see us getting there for half past three. So, well, we'll see. And um, we're on as well. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I say we're on as way and um, hopefully we'll get there on time. Oh, as I say, it doesn't really matter because they're, they're going to have to wait for us anyway. So, there you go. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you all again when uh, we get near to Southampton. Bye for now. Well folks, um, here we are. Uh, we're just on the outskirts of Southampton. And it's uh, 3.16. We're quite some way out of course, but uh, it's a uh, at least good half hour to ship, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's not bad in that. But um, don't know why last year they couldn't do it in this time. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Speak to you later. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you when we get to when we're coming along from an armpit to World Ship. Bye for now. Yeah, there we 
there. Coming opposite end. There we are, pulling into pulling into dock. And it is 3:28. She was right. She said 3:30, and that's it. No, no. I was in the That's the ship. Yeah. Good move for the Not the Titanic. Yeah. There we are. Ocean We're over here, we're in the port, we're off the bus, we've got a boarding card and we're making for checking. So we're going to go down here. To be frank, I'm highly surprised at just how busy it is, considering it's going on for four o'clock. Where's the Yeah. Right, we're going. In, so I'll film again when we actually get inside. Have to trim that down. We need a big pocket for a while. Right. Right. Here we are going up into checking. Going to the checking, so we'll film again when we've gone through checking. Look at how busy it is. I can't believe it. It's um, it's quarter, it is quarter to four, yeah quarter to four, I expect it place to be empty this time, but no you see it's, it's even, and it was also the same out, out up front there, I mean luckily we had special passes that, which has got us like a fast lane at, at an airport, because we were on coach, but anyway I'll start filming again, when we threw uh, the uh, security and we're boarding the coach so I'll speak to you then. Right folks, so we're through security. And you are back through the door, sir, round to the right. Round to the right, yeah. Right, uh, in a different way. That's the way you go when we come back. So each time you go down there to get off the ship.
east, you know, we're coming this way, we're at the back, we're at the back, we're fairly close to the back of the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm fairly close, my cabin's fairly close to the back of the ship, so we've come this way. Thank you. And there we are, folks. We're on the ship. Just find out where I'm. I'll just just find out where my muster station is, and I'll uh, I'll get back to you, folks. Bye for now. Right, that's the corridor that way, and that way, and this is my cabin. Team six thirty one. cabin which we've had a slight upgrade to put this rubbish down here 
Whoa. Yes. Uh, right, folks. We've got. Uh, oops. Look at the size of this balcony, folks. Hey, hey, this is a cracker. A lovely balcony. See, that's a uh, nine, and then one below it is the uh, the rubbish ones. So, lovely balcony that, folks. Oh, yeah. I'll chuck this now. Let's go around cabin. This is a lovely sofa. Uh, double bed. Desk. Yeah. Just a second. Yeah, so uh, that'll be cabin shoes. I'll come back to you when I've spoken to it. Yes, folks. Uh, whew, sweating a bit here. Uh, it's warm, that's why. Yes, so as I was saying, so uh, lovely sofa. Uh, nice big double bed. Uh, lamps either side. And... Uh, Light switches there, and I believe, yes, underneath there. Let's see if I can capture it. Yeah, you see, USB each side is a USB thing, there's plugs and the like. Uh, and as you see, it's a bit tight, safe, hangers drawers and wardrobes yeah so we'll just shut this they're a bit close to bed but uh, being on my own it's not a problem and, uh, and what we've got here and here we've got the bathroom Yes, very nice. Uh, Shed. Two way door, either way. You've got uh, shampoo, etc., there. Another shampoo there. Towels. Mm, a bit rough, but anyway, low. Yeah, so that's it for, uh, for cabin. Uh, Let's have a look, just turn the light off. And, uh, and TV. Large TV. Oh, that's uh, remote. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'll just sit down. Yeah. I'll have a look at the uh, horizon and see what uh, time uh things uh close but uh yeah so uh, i'll uh, i'll speak to you later bye for now oh, right folks um here i am in the uh atrium see there's the first floor this is the second floor and there's the third floor of the atrium. Um, I got myself a pint of lager shandy. I don't know what lager's in it, but uh, I just did lager shandy, so I don't know how much it costs. Uh, this is about five and a half quid, I think. Uh, I'll find out when I check my uh, card, card. You know, my account. So I've got to go to got to go to reception and get it uh, 
get the what they call it put on me uh, on me phone. So yeah, spoke to Dell, got through. Uh, it became difficult to hear her at times, so I said I'd ring her tomorrow. And the battery's getting a bit low on this as well, so. Okay, folks, I'll uh, speak to you later. Right, folks, um, here I am in the uh, Keys, and I'm having my dinner here tonight instead of messing about. Um, as you can see, I've got two pieces of fish and some chips. Uh, I might try the American thing yet, I don't know. Uh, we haven't set sail yet, or at least I don't think so. Or have we? No, we don't appear to be moving, so uh, hopefully when I've had my dinner, hopefully I'll be able to um, go out on deck there and have a look and catch some at sail away. Bye for now. Here we are, leaving port. Pulled out over there, and we sailing down the. Right, as I say, so we we pulled out over there, and uh, pulling out into Solom. We're on his way. I missed us actually pulling out of the port bit because um, I was in Keys having some tea, and uh, I might have a bit more now. Get some uh, some pudding and whatever, and then I'll go back up to my balcony because there's no really to do, to do tonight. I'll, uh, I'll look on my uh, horizon when I get up into my cabin and see if there's out to do. Otherwise I might just watch a bit of telly. Okay, so I'll speak to you later folks. Bye for now. Right folks, uh, I've gone and got, I've got a creme brulee. And uh, to be honest, I don't know what this is. Because it didn't have a label on it, but it looks like some kind of uh, chocolate trifle. Uh, and a cup, cup of coffee so I'm going to chuck into these and I'll get back to you but yes we're definitely well on our way yes folks we're definitely well on our way uh, as I say I'm going to try these see what they're like yes um, if you come on the Iona or the Arvia I recommend you come to the Keys for, for your first meal because to be honest it's not very busy where I should imagine up in the buffet and in the restaurants is going to be packed because I believe we're on a full ship I do with the number of people I've seen uh, and for some reason people have not copped on to the keys thank god so yeah uh, yeah just a quick update the fish was lovely they're very nice chips were okay not brilliant but okay but the fish was really nice so that's why I got two pieces Okay, speak to you later. Right folks, uh, here we are going down the Solent. Uh, that way is, uh, as you can see, we're fairly close to the back of the ship. A bit further down there is the, what we call the single cabins. <clears throat> I forget what number I've got booked for September but anyway yeah I'll uh, put the big thing on to charge in a minute or two yeah down there deck that's decade down there that's the um, promenade deck and that is the cabin for deck nine and below them which you can't see because they 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 go out over them is the cabins that actually look out onto deck eight uh they what they call the controversial cabins 
Yeah. We're on the starboard side. Yeah, we're on the starboard side. I think I've been. I think I was on the port side before, but this time I'm on the starboard side. And, and you could, you see, I just bring this round just to give you an idea of the scale, the size of this balcony. It's amazing. Day, day nine and ten have huge balconies. So. If you like a big balcony folks then I recommend that when you book when you book your, ca uh, your cabin if you get select fare book floors 9 and 10 avoid deck 8 because it's uh, unless you like being very neighbourly and friendly with people walking past uh, uh, but then you get upwards from then upwards their deck their what they call it's their uh, just standard size balconies but there you go and this is an upgrade although it's not really well they say it's not good because I have no idea have I because uh, I don't know what cabin I was going to have because they didn't so they didn't actually uh, give me a choice of cabins, even though it's a select fare. I didn't actually get a choice of cabins on this one. And that's because it's, uh, as I say, I think this ship is really full, judging by a number of people I've seen wandering about. Uh, but I got a lovely cabin, lovely cabin. Okay, folks. Uh Right folks, um, it's the end of the day, um, I haven't done much today, I watched uh, football on telly, I mean it's it's gone 10 o'clock now and um, the show that they had on downstairs, digital, I've seen it before, but it's not very good, not brilliant, I mean, it's okay you know, it, it, if you've not seen it before then you might enjoy it but um, yeah and I think it was okay first time I watched it. Uh, if you watch my uh, blogs from uh, last March 20, in 23, uh, you'll probably see it on there because uh, they don't seem to change much on uh, P&O. You know, the shows that are on this, sea, uh, this uh, cruise were on that cruise, so there you go. Anyway, so it's been an interesting day. Um, I've been up since four, what was it, 20 to five this morning. Well, not up, I've been awake since 20 to five this morning. Um, I got up at five past seven, got down to bus station because I was just didn't see how they were gonna cover the same distance in five and a half hours or so that uh, they were doing in seven hours last year. And um, as you've seen, we did do it in that time. She said we'd get here for uh, half past three and we got here at 28 minutes past three. So, yeah, so there you go. And we even stopped uh, for near, almost an hour at the service station instead of 45 minutes that we, we stopped at last year. Uh, but, uh, yes, so I don't... But we did come a different way. That's definite. We came a different way because uh, we came in um, from the what's the word where did it so when we came in we came into the uh turned left to go into the port whereas before on the other ways we came along the front so we could see all the other cruise ships uh you know as we came along la 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 uh, and we passed all other cruise ships and then when we got to, to we turned right into the port so we came up as it way. So we definitely came in a different. We came in a different way. So maybe that were that's why we we came a short away. I don't know. But anyway, yes, yeah, so we got here. Uh, it was great because the we had a line. As you know, like uh, fast lane at, at airport. The uh, for for coaches, if you come in on a coach, they give you a. As I said, they give you a um, a little ticket 
with the number uh, letter on it, and Mac, in Mac as it was an N, and then you just follow it round. And he says, "Are you on cruises? Are you on coach?" I said, "Yeah." And with his shoulders round, and we went through and everything. And we were round, we were through fairly quickly. And as you'll have seen, uh, if you're still with me, uh, you'll have seen that the uh, right at the front, uh, it were <clears throat> it were really busy. You know, I, I mean, I got here, we got here at, <clears throat> as I say, about, it was about 20 to 4 by the time we got into to hall where, uh, what the call it was, check-in was, and it were heaving. And I expect, you know, I thought, oh, we'll get here, be, if we get here about quarter to 4, it's going to be empty. You know, everybody will uh, have uh, booked on before. So, But no, it were massive, it were really busy. And uh, the people that obviously had not come on coach, uh, they were in, in like in a big pen, and there were loads of them down there, and there were there were a lot of them upstairs in checking as well in a different you know different queue to us. So um, maybe they've just got they've got the ship has got in late, and they've got what they call it they've got um, <clears throat> a late boarding. You know, spotting started late. So there, anyway, tomorrow is uh, sea day as we make our way up to Hamburg. So what I'm actually going to do tomorrow, I don't know yet. But, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, it's uh, good night from me and it's good night from him. So, bye.